Hey guys, I've got an app to show you today. It's called Quick Click and it allows you to assign actions to your volume key buttons. So for example, you could launch an app or an action with three quick presses of the volume down key. It doesn't require root or anything special to run. I'm running this on a stock Nexus 5. It's free and as always, the links are included in the description. So let's check it out. Okay, so we'll open it up. It does need a service running in the background to work. So there is a persistent notification that comes along with that. You can get rid of it, of course, by unticking show notifications in the app info section. So if we tap create a new action, it gives us all the things we can do. So flashlight, photo, video, dictaphone, call, message, sound, configuration, task, or an app. We'll try something simple. We'll click flashlight. And now you get to choose the click sequence. So let's keep this simple again with two volume down clicks. You can have quite an elaborate sequence if you want to, but for now we'll just hit ready. You can turn on the sound or vibrate. We'll just hit uh, finish here. And let's go ahead and actually try this out. So we'll just hold up the phone so you can actually see the flash. Two volume down clicks, you can see the flash does in fact turn on. Doing the action again will toggle it so you can see it turns off. And yeah, it actually works pretty damn quickly and really well. So if we dive back into the application here, We'll do another one and this time we'll select configuration action and yep, we'll pick Bluetooth. So for the click sequence, we're gonna select a three volume up press. So we'll choose the three positive symbols on the left hand side and we won't bother with any of the other settings. We'll just give this a shot right now. So we'll click finish. So let's do the click sequence, three quick volume up presses. You can see Bluetooth turns on in the status bar. And if we do the same sequence, it does turn off. Also notice that the volume doesn't just keep on rising. It does actually go back to the default level once it's recognized the action. So if we dive back into the application, we'll go into the overflow menu and hit the app settings. You do have a few battery life options here. By default, the service only runs while the screen is on. You can change that so it runs during screen off if you like, but it probably will affect the battery life. The next option allows you to choose when the screen listens for clicks. So you can have it on or off, or when the screen is on but locked, or when the screen is on and not locked. So the choice is up to you there. You have a few options underneath, for example, you can disable the service when music is playing if maybe you're thinking that's a conflict. And one of the most important settings is the interval between clicks. I have this set to pretty quick. By default, it's set a little longer, but it can get in the way if you want to turn the volume up or down quite quickly. So setting the interval to a less time fix that issue for me. And lastly, there's the option to turn off the notification from the status bar, but it's still present in the notifications. So you will have to dive into the app info section and turn off show notifications like this little pop up tells you to. So yeah, you can add some really quick functionality to your volume keys with this app. So let me know what you guys think. Peace out.